YouTube did the study on the most popular opening lines of vloggers on YouTube. The fifth most popular greeting is all right at 11% usage. Hi guys is the fourth most popular at 14% usage. Good morning is the third most popular greeting at 18% usage. What's up is the second most popular greeting at 20% with that intonation that I told you about. And the clear leader in most used greetings by vloggers is, hey guys, that's 36% usage. What stands out for me is one, a lot of these are annoying. I listen to them when I'm looking at a video or I'm walking through my house or uh, seeing other people watching these. And another thing that stood out for me is, hey guys, I'm saying it wrong. Hey guys is at 36% while hi guys is at 14%. A major difference in leadership, but uh, the change is either hey or hi. My guess is hey is a way to say that I'm comfortable, um, this is more casual, this, this, this sort of thing. That's, that's my Siri in Arabic who wants to step, step in and say hi. All right, so uh, the, thank you, Siri. I've noticed the greetings are overused. Uh, with my videos, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go straight into the videos uh, without any unnecessary, because the attention span for three seconds, right? So I'm happy that you've stayed in the five, six minutes that we're in, but I know that the first few seconds are when you skip to go over to see something else. So I want to go straight into that. Uh, uh, so the, it's a very important part, so I go straight into that. What opening line uh, do you notice the most on the videos you watch? Is it, hey guys, or, or others as well? Let me know. Did you know? If you look up holy on Google and click these three triangles right here, you can start to splash your Google results in paint. And if you want to clean up, all you have to do is click the little water icon. So during Google's latest developer event, the I.O., uh, Google announced its partnership with Shopify. Now, 1.7 million merchants on Shopify will be able to benefit from Google's services. Uh, it appears in search results. That's the most critical part. So our flows, usually, we go through a Google search. We go through images of the product. We go through YouTube reviews and how to use it. And then we go to an online store to buy or Google Maps location to purchase. That's all via Google's ecosystem. So this partnership with Shopify, what it does is it helps uh, online stores that are based on Shopify, and that's 1.7 million of them. A lot of them are based also in the UAE and Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. Um, a lot of that products and content will show up on Google's platforms. So it shows up in search, uh, in, in search results, in YouTube results, in uh, mobile app ads, and a, and a, and a bunch of other uh, locations. Now, if you're a Shopify store owner or you have a friend you know who has a Shopify store, uh, make sure that uh, they enable this. So this is not enabled by default. There's a little bit of work for you to do. So I strongly recommend you look, look into it and turn this on. How about you as a consumer? When you want to shop for something, do you go through Google search or do you have a habit of going to Amazon first, for example? You go to Amazon or to Noon.com to a marketplace and you search there straight ahead. What's, uh, what, where do you start first? Next. Seems like this thing that's just in the air. Everything is powered by these huge data centers. When I was hired by a big tech company, a lot of things blew my mind, but nothing blew my mind as much as these data centers. They are absolutely insane. We're talking about literal warehouses positioned throughout the world strategically, where the governments are stable and where the weather is good. Inside these data centers are just racks and racks of servers. I think each one of those racks is like a ton or something like that. And yeah, they use a lot of energy and a lot of really interesting innovation goes into how they cool down these machines because they do get really hot. So they might use things like the natural weather if the weather is favorable or um, how they position all the machines, where the air rises, all of that is taken into account and the machines are made as efficient as possible to reduce as much impact and reduce costs as possible. These data centers hire thousands of people. It's really cool. So what do Netflix, Marshall Futem, and Rami have in common? They're using AWS, Amazon's Web Services. So that's a combination of hardware and software that provide all of us with access to information from the internet, in the form of images, videos, and text. 
So AWS, Amazon's Web Services, is in the process of building its own data centers in the UAE. That means data served to you will be done locally within the country. That, mean, that makes load times much faster, so you don't have to access a server in France or the US or South Asia. And uh, depending on the service, uh, there are certain government requirements where the data needs to physically be inside the country, so that will be served to you from there. Uh, and that will also contribute to uh, creating more jobs and definitely increased usage in the region.